Okay, so this is a video about parallel testing of um, electrodes. So um, we're talking about using um, uh, screen printed electrodes like this, and um, that are available in gold, platinum, and carbon. And we're talking about using the um, doing basically parallel tests, something like twelve tests at a time. So I'm going to actually going to quickly dive into one of our um, web pages. Um, at ZP, and then I'm actually going to use um, a previous video, but just kind of talk through it in a slightly different way. So at ZP, um, we do have off-the-shelf um, test rigs that you can do parallel testing. So in a minute, I'm going to zoom in on this video and sort of show you that these test rigs can kind of come where the electrodes actually go into the solution in a in a horizontal fashion and I've, that's important because in the video we show you that actually all the electrodes are sitting in one um, solution but it's actually you could imagine yourself um, 3d printing maybe a sort of a tray and having little beakers like this or beakers that are smaller so that you can in fact test a much smaller solutions so you didn't have to have all the electrodes pointing down into one solution you could have actually had them um, in separate solutions so I'll make that. So here I'm just sort of saying, you know, it's these kind of electrodes. We call these our value electrodes. And it's probably worth using them because their cost is about half of a normal screen printed electrode. Um, so as the video shoots in there now, I'll freeze it. You can basically see that on this particular jig, all the electrodes are pointing downwards and they're in the solution. But as I say, you could actually imagine that actually you had a, um, a circle of pots like this 12 of them and in fact the electrodes came down into those um, individual solutions and that's how you could then do different solutions um, so you can see them all in solution there and what i'll do now is i'll fast forward slightly um, so you can see that we've got the um, Electrodes in solution, potential stat, and then the instrument itself. And then elsewhere in the video, I sort of pick up the other version of this. I'll freeze. Where in fact we've got all the electrodes now, rather than them um, being um, downwards in the solution, they're actually in the horizontal. And we use this when we want to do basically pipetting experiments. So it's um, it's fine just to take something like 50 microliter pipette and just pipette the solution onto the end of the screen printed electrode and do all your electrochemistry in that. So you didn't need to have a formal container to hold your solution. Now, it works quite well for aqueous solutions because um, they tend to form a droplet, but I could see organic solutions actually spread everywhere. Um, so I could see that that having, you know, sometimes it will work, sometimes it won't. But you can see that we can uh, either mount the electrodes in a horizontal or earlier on in this video, you can see that we could also do it in a um, vertical as well. Um, and the nice thing about a board like this is for each electrode, we've got um, connection points for the working counter and reference. Um, otherwise, it's a it's what they would call a rat's nest um, affair that, you know, the nice. So I would hope that would help people understand um, these, these two formats. We do, have, we, do, we do have another format where effectively all the electrodes are in a row and you can just then, again, you could either, you could mount that um, vertically and they will be in a solution or you could mount it horizontally and just pipette the solutions onto the um, electrodes. So the nice thing about the ZP tools though is that they'll, we really develop them for ourselves and then we make them available uh, on the website as well. So we're probably the biggest users of our own um, technology. So if you want to do parallel testing and you either want to test all in the same solutions or you want to test different electrodes in different solutions, but you want to do it in parallel, um, then you probably have that kind of technology. Okay, thanks very much.